Hello and welcome back. So what I want to talk to you about today is a component that's quite common in modern electronics, but it's not always that well understood. I'm talking about a component that is widely used in power electronics, especially in power supply filters, but also in digital electronics, especially on differential communication lines. What I'm talking about, of course, is the common mode choke. And what I want to do today is look at how this thing works, what's its purpose in the circuit, and then simulate this using LTSpice. So if you're curious about that and much more, then keep watching. So to start things off, this is a noise filtration component. And to understand how it works, let's first look at the noise it's supposed to filter. So what are the types of noise that we can find commonly in a circuit? And for that, I created this little simulation here in which I got a generator that contains both differential and common mode noise. Basically, the differential noise is a type of noise that will go between the two or more output terminals. So if we consider this to be a power supply, like a laptop charger or something, the differential noise will be the noise that goes between the plus and the minus terminals of the output. Now, the common mode noise is a bit different. This will go between both of the output terminals and the ground. Now, this can be the protected earth ground or some other ground in your circuit. But the thing is, this common mode noise is a type of noise that goes through both of your wires at the same time. So if we run this thing, we can see that our common mode noise, so noise that is referenced to the ground, is present on both pins. We can clearly see this using an FFT analysis. We can clearly see our two main noise frequencies. So my noise generators are the differential mode generator at 500 kilohertz and the common mode generator at 1 megahertz. And if we look at these signals from common mode point of view, so reference to ground, we see both these signals very clearly. Only be difference being that the differential noise is slightly higher on our plus terminal, but the common mode noise is completely identical. Now, if we look at this in a differential way, so compare plus in reference to minus, let's just delete the extra traces, and we look at its FFT content, we see that only our differential noise clearly stands out. So the common mode noise is very, very small when we look at it from differential point of view. Now, the common thing you would do to filter out noise in a circuit is to simply make an LC filter or a PI filter or something like that. So what I did here was create a simple LC filter between my generator and my load. And let's just see what this does. So if we now look at the differential noise, so the noise on the two terminals of our load, but in reference to ground, and we analyze it from an FFT point of view, we see that nothing really changed. So we see a ton of noise, both the common mode noise and the differential noise are clearly visible. So this filter did not help with the common mode noise. Now, if we look from a differential point of view, I mean, even without making any sort of FFT analysis, if we simply compare it to our previous result, we can see that the differential noise has basically vanished. So before we had this almost two volt peak to peak noise, whereas now we can barely see anything. So our LC filter is doing a great job, but only on the differential noise. It hasn't done anything with the common mode noise. So let's try and improve this filter a bit. Now, the problem with the simple LC filter is that the common mode noise, even though it's sort of blocked from coming in through the series inductor we've placed, there's nothing preventing it from coming in through the other terminal where there's no filtering component. So if we put two series chokes, so create this sort of arrangement in which we have two series inductors and then the capacitor, and we look at what we get on the output. So let's just start off with differential noise. We see that 
we still have no more differential noise, so it's still working as an LC filter. But if we look at the common mode noise, so the noise directly in reference to ground, and let's just compare it to our previous measurements. I mean, it's not very obvious, but it's starting to get reduced. Let's just see this from an FFT point of view. So if we look at our common mode noise, we clearly see that the noise in our circuit where we had the double inductor, so ground LLC, is almost 10 decibels lower than the case in which we didn't have this. I mean, the filter is working, it's not perfect, but that has to do with the values of the components. But you can clearly see that this is a good way of filtering common mode noise. It's just that you need a couple of inductors. Now, the final thing I want to show you is an actual common mode choke in action. So the difference between two individual inductors and a common mode choke is that the two inductors on the common mode choke are arranged as a transformer. And to show that in LTSpice, I took the two inductors and also added the case statement so that these two are two coupled inductors this time. And if we look here just on the ground point, we can clearly see that the circuit with the common mode choke has far smaller noise than the one with the two individual inductors. So I took the same exact inductances, just put them on a transformer and it's already working much better. But what the common mode choke does differently than two individual inductors is if we look at the differential noise, let's just delete everything that we have here and compared to our previous circuit, so I'm just inverting it, we got our differential noise back. So the common mode choke is a component that's especially useful for common mode noise. It's not useful for differential noise. Now, what on earth would that be good for? I mean, why would you want something like this? Well, as I told you, this is good for power supplies, but also for digital differential signal lines. Thing is, for a power supply, you don't want common mode noise, but you don't want differential noise either. Whereas in a signal line, you still want to keep your signal. So the differential content you still want to keep, and you only want to remove the common mode content. Now, this seems a bit weird. How can the inductance disappear? How can it no longer filter when it's coupled like this? Let's have a look at a choke and actually measure it a bit. So what I got here is the common mode choke that I've recycled from an old power supply and an inductance meter. And what I did was just interconnect two of the coils. So on one side they're interconnected, on the other they're left free. Now if we measure the inductance, let's say one of the coils, we see that we have around 48 millihenry. So this is probably a 50 millihenry common mode choke. If we look at the other inductor, again, 48.1, so a bit of tolerance. Now, if I measure the two inductors in series, so basically this is what we would see if we would have the inductor used in differential mode, we see that we only have around 500 microhenry, so around 100 times less than the inductance of one of the coils. The two coils together have around 100 millihenry, and we're only seeing 0.5 millihenry. And this basically happens because of the way the magnetic field around the inductors is being formed. So when you have current going one way through the coil, it generates a magnetic field in one direction. If the current is going the other way, the magnetic field is generated in the opposite direction. So when you have differential current going through the common mode transformer, the currents are going in opposite ways and the two magnetic fields cancel each other out. So you don't see the inductance in a differential setup. In common mode setup, both currents go the same way through the inductor. Therefore, the two fields add up. So you're seeing the inductor's actual inductance. Now, one of the benefits of the differential mode currents cancelling out 
is that the core material, so the ferromagnetic material in the core, only sees the common mode currents. Now, the common mode currents are usually much, much smaller than the differential mode currents. So you can have a few amps of differential current going through this thing, but only a few milliamps of common mode current. That means that you can get very high inductance values without saturating the core. So if you want to make a good filter that filters both common mode and differential mode noise, you need to combine the two effects. Let's have a look at this research paper. So what I got here is a paper about making line filters for switching power supplies, and they end up with this sort of design, in which they have both common mode chokes and uncoupled inductors. And in the next section, they also put some values to the schematic. And you can clearly see that the common mode choke is in the order of millihenry, so high inductance. But this schematic also includes some uncoupled inductors that only have hundreds of microhenries. So more than an order of magnitude difference between the two. And by combining the two effects, you can get a filter that is both good at common mode rejection and differential mode rejection. Now you can look at all the formulas in here and measurements and so on, so there's quite a lot of things in this research paper. But now coming back to the common mode choke, to see more clearly the difference between its common mode and differential mode behavior, we can have a look at its impedance in these two modes. And for that, let's have a look at a datasheet. So what I got here is a generic datasheet from Borns that lists an entire series of common mode inductors. And if we scroll through it, we see these nice little curves. Basically what they're showing us is what the common mode impedance is and what the differential mode. I mean, they're calling it normal mode, but it's a differential mode impedance. And we can see that throughout almost the entire frequency range that is covered, you always have at least a factor 10 of impedance difference between the two connection methods. And this is important since you can have useful differential signal going through the common mode choke and at the same frequency have common mode noise and the filter will only filter out the common mode component. The differential component will be unaffected. So all in all, this common mode choke is a very important component in modern electronics and to correctly be able to use it, you need to understand it. So how it works, how it actually filters something. And that's about it from my side for today. So hope you got some useful information out of this. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to be up to date with all my latest videos and see you next time. Bye bye.